Hi, it's Doug Coy for SoWhatDoYouThink.com. Well, I'm going to take on a tough topic. We're going to talk about homosexuality and is it a sin? Now, the reason I want to talk about this is from an article that I read in, on my Facebook page. Somebody had posted it there. It was about a young boy who went to school. The teacher uh, had handed out an assignment and it had to do with his homosexuality a sin. Uh, he came home, showed this to his mother. His mother was quite upset. And she, being a conservative Christian, went back to the school and had some talks with him, came back, ranted a little bit to the boy. The boy ended up leaving the home. He ran off to a friend's house, very upset. She didn't know where he was. Finally, she got a text from him. It was like hours later. And the text said something that she never thought she'd ever see. It said, Mom, I don't know how to tell you this. I haven't told anybody, but I'm gay. And if you love me, text me back. Well, the mother didn't know what to do. She, I mean, this was the shock of her life. And after a whole lot of prayer and a lot of seeking into her own heart, later she texted the boy back, said, come home, I love you, mom. And they started working through some fairly difficult times in their life, but it really touched me. And the question comes to me a lot as a Christian, do you believe that homosexuality is a sin? Well, I may make some of my good Christian friends upset, but I think the real sin is how some Christians relate to the gay community. What do I mean by that? When I tell someone that, hey, you're a sinner, you know what I do? I immediately build a wall between myself and that person. The second thing that happens is we alienate a group of people that God loves. The problem with a lot of Christians, and believe me, I've been a Christian most of my life. I was raised in a Christian home. My father was a minister. Is so often we are thought of as the people that are against things. You know, the only thing that we talk about is what we're against. Well, what are we for? I mean, that's really the important question. Jesus was for people. He was for forgiveness. He was so many good things. But so often the picture painted of Christians is we're just a bunch of negative people that are just against a whole lot of other people that don't believe the way we do. And that's sad. And this is one thing that I know. I know that reaching out and embracing people does a lot more than building a wall and alienating people. The concept is very simple. Judge not unless you be judged. For in the same way that you judge, you shall be judged. So I don't know about you, but as far as I'm concerned, I would like to be judged with mercy and grace. You know, give and it shall be given unto you. That doesn't mean just money. It means how we treat people, the way we love people. Jesus said, love thy neighbor as yourself. What if your neighbor's gay? What do you do with that? How do we respond? Do you build a wall? Or do you build a bridge? If there's any judging to be done, I'm going to leave that with God. And I refuse to put labels on people, especially labels that are only going to alienate me from them and kind of set me aside and give them the, you know, something to, to roadblock their own search for God. I don't want to do that. You know, to be honest, I have enough sin in my own life. I mean, I don't want to take on the role of being the sin cop. You know what I mean? It's not a role that I want to take on. So is homosexuality a sin? You know what? I'm going to leave that for the theologians to discuss. It's not an arena I want to get into. It's not where I want to go. I have no desire to join that discussion. I refuse to cast a stone. I refuse to look at the, you know, the little speck in my brother's eye or my sister's eye and ignore the plank that's in my own. I'd love to hear your comments. This is Doug Coy. So, what do you think?